So, riding a bike's pretty easy, isn't it? And once you know, you'll never forget. But that's not always the case. Back in 2015, a guy called us, a welder called Barney, working for uh, a show Smarter Every Day, he changed the bike so that normally when you ride a bike, if you turn the handlebars to the right, the bike goes right. If you turn the handlebars to the left, the bike goes left. It's pretty straightforward. But Barney put a cog in so that when you turn the handlebars to the right, the bike went left. When you turn the handlebars to the left, the bike went right. Now, conceptually that's pretty straightforward and I, I heard that and in fact I saw a video and I thought, yep, I can do this. Well, the host of Smarter Every Day, Destin Sandler, he thought he could do it too. In fact, he was certain he could. Took him eight months. He looked like a complete idiot learning how to ride this backwards bike, falling off, could barely get a meter or two because our brain is wired in a particular way and certain behaviors are wired into us. Now, a few years ago, uh, one of our clients, a lady called Karen Stanton, uh, for, works for International Flavors and Fragrances in New York, she was leading a big transformation, a big culture change, and she knew that behavior change is hard. And just telling people that is not enough. So she bought a backwards bike and went on a road show talking about the culture change and how we need to be very disciplined and very purposeful about changing our behavior because we think it's easy, but it's in fact very hard. Now she would stand on stage and she would bet people $50 that they could ride that bike. Not one single person could ride the bike. The only person who could ride the bike was a young kid who had about an hour practicing and, uh, and had him managed to ride it a couple of meters. But all the adults, whose behavior is pretty well entrained, they could not ride it, even though they had that offer of $50. And so the point of the story from Karen's perspective was, like the backwards bike, it seems conceptually, or behavior change or culture change, it's conceptually easy, but it's behaviorally difficult. And if we're going to achieve a culture change, we need to be very mindful about it, we need to be purposeful, and we need to focus people and help them practice the new behaviors that will enable the, uh, the desired culture to take effect. So that's the story of the backwards bike. And one of the things you might do is, uh, if you're leading a transformation change, is you can use that example just to illustrate to people how hard changing behavior is. See you next time.